The only podcast that you spend, have all the income spent wondering how you're going to pay your rent. He ho. We on 4 0. Big game, but that way though. Yeah, I made that one up on the fly. That was freestyle. On the, on the fly. As per usual, there's no camera today. We ain't looking our best. No, today was our phone lay. Today so, was. Um, subscribe. Anyway, um, two man, Grease God. Pussy profit. Uh-huh. Pum pum profit, sorry. Pum pum profit. The pum pum profit. I know where your box going. <laughs> yeah. Can, yeah, my box map. Have a box. I can navigate where your box is going to end up. It's like, ladies and gentlemen, this man has a box movement action plan. Mo- By the way, that's what map is. By the way. Yeah. Movement action is an acronym. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. And of course, your girlfriend, your, your girlfriend's favorite podcaster, Mr. Hugh, Bats. Hugest head. <laughs> Of podcasters, you um, just of the um, uh, Uncle Launchpad, Uncle Launchpad, <laughs> uh, and Gerard, buddy. Phoebe, and Phoebe Gerard is now coming with the um, thank you. It'll be funny if you had um, you know, I don't understand Phoebe, I don't really don't understand how he's like, like, put it the edgy thing, and you know, you know, specifically in like Witchire butlery. Like, I did some googling. It's supposed to like save it on a platter and that kind of it's stuff. She get ruder every week, you know. Like, I think it's um the Trinidad Union participation. She's been participating with the union. Stop playing with these black people down here, Phoebe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Phoebe. Um, Phoebe Gerard is her full name. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. We do not only audio show, so so show. So I can really see what Phoebe have on. She's she's mulatto, like her white father came here and impregnated a black woman. A, colon- um, a colonialist. Yeah, he he, he loved the colony vibes. Did, we yeah. didn't want to do the rape way. Yeah, my voice going. You can tell my voice going buzzy. Like, we effed up. Nah, we do. I thought I had COVID. I nah, don't. We really need to subway the fight club, dog. Hey, first rule. You're not supposed to talk about it. What does that mean? Second rule. You're not supposed to talk about it. My bad. My bad. My bad. You want to see, see fight club? I saw a snippet of the show, dog. And Jesus I already was like, um, this show might actually be good to sit on and watch, you know. You have never looked at fight club. I know who Brad Pitt, this fella who... um. <laughs> President Hulk. This fella. Oh, <laughs> the, the second Hulk. The second Hulk, no, the man. Third, I think. Whoever he was, he was an Hulk. Um, is about it? I don't know anybody else. Um, and, and the guy who's always playing military guy, Kosh, by You've looked. Who's that? It, your beard looking like... <laughs> I don't even want to say, but, but uh, hey, you're really not having a good day today, you know. Just as long as you don't use the double P's on them in the whole program. What double P's? The, the purple, the purple. But if his plan for America is to fire everyone, who's this man? Jesus years. Christ! That's um the guy who would make Family Guy. He was talking about Donald Trump, talking about Donald Trump becoming president. Mm. And I was thinking to myself, right? I think Donald Trump will be president again. Here's why. I'm gonna guess it up. Because nobody really. It was to be honest with you, but Biden was president for like what twenty years now. You know? Do you know anything Biden does? Actually. He brought the troops from, um, he pulled the troops out of Afghanistan. That's not what Barack Obama did? I, I, I think Biden expedited. I'm not sure. I, I really know that's not what, like, he get the troops out of Iraq? Well, whatever. Afghanistan. You know, well, who we'll get out of Iraq is. But, Barack. Uh, okay. No. Is all the fucking send them there? Which kind of was one of the single handed worst decisions they could have made, too, because, like, the Afghanis get taken over by the Taliban now. And it's, it, they're beating people in the streets, people jumping off our buildings, yeah. That's the well, I mean, if you had a damnation. If you had a girl one real sticky, that's how I'd do it. Well, too. I mean, it, it, if anything mm-hmm. to change in this regime, dog, any regime you had to change it with a, with a stick of violence now, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, prepare to do it, you will succeed, you know? So, now nah, this week, I guess I'm reading on um, like two, chapter 32 on Shogun. And it's not about a male Japanese prostitute exhibitionist. What is called up? A show gun. That's what. <laughs> what? Stop, stop, stop. Are you showing gun? <laughs> uh, no, no, Diddy. Man. No, Diddy. No, no, Diddy. Hey, yeah, we can talk about that. What going on with your dog? <laughs> That's not my dog. What going on with <laughs> yeah, that's your dog? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You, know that, you know that guy? I know him too well. Though. What going on with your dog? The funniest thing is like when they ask your boy, where is you tell me that? Who's that? Your boy, um. Yeah, but I'll pull it up. Yeah, boy. I really laugh. 
because in my mind I was like, yeah, watch it here. I won't play it. So let it play. Let's oh, just boy. say I'm inspired by Puff, uh, Suge Knight. Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, okay. Hey, man. How, how, is we how giving much do they get We going to give them what the fuck they deserve, and we going to take what the fuck they going to give us. Mm. No, so how much do they pay me? You? you ever been to one of Diddy parties? Yeah, I've, I've been. Wait, nigga, I've been. 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 I've been in attendance. Did you see? Did you see? I've been in attendance. I've been in attendance. We never been. We just asked him. We just asked him. As soon as you asked, he said, Do you have fun? I ain't seen that. Yeah, you did. I ain't seen that. Yeah, I fun. Yeah, I mean, it was a party. I wasn't at one of them parties. What party? say that? I have been at, at a party. You know what I'm saying? I've been in attendance. Yeah, yeah, uh, I went. Yeah. Thanks. But I ain't, I ain't. Yeah, nah, I don't know which party. The party I was <laughs> It was girls turn, turn up and the regular, you know what I mean? Other people and shit. Yeah. That's what you do lying with it. I ain't one of them. Wait, what party? Did you, you know, she's been the so hard. It was only one type of nah, 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 nah. I don't know. I'm just saying. So, I, 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 I don't watch yeah, so many That's man guilty, dog. Yeah, he's talking about um, he's talking about M dot Diddy, D D D I D D D. Yeah, but the charge. Have you anything yet? Uh, bro, I'm explaining this there, right? If the feds, if the federal rallies, mm-hmm. raid your house, them don't build the case now. Them, them finish the main quest. Them looking for side missions now. Them outside missions. But I think I would, uh, you know, I assume. Yeah, he, you know, they can't charge him with anything because he's in the Caribbean. I'm not sure which island he's in, but that's the talk, he's in the Caribbean. If he didn't capture. <laughs> that's crazy. That is wild. Dog. Yeah. So you went from being the hip-hop royalty. Well, you're still hip-hop royalty. I personally, this is just my take, though. I think there's an agenda, though. Like, I think... Somebody just stop homosexual men from now, nah, but <laughs> did he wild and was, long was time co- though? Yeah, 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 hey. yeah, yeah. Hey, I I like bad boys in the nineties. No, I don't don't tell that anybody that does not like bad boy in the nineties. Probably except Tupac and Shook Knight, but everybody mm. like bad boy in the nineties. Yeah, yeah. But I, I have nothing against them until I started hear these rumors. No, no, no. Still, it's like I I like R. Kelly songs. Mm. I like R. Kelly songs. I mean, I, I like I like Ghost Dad. I like Moussa Weinstein movies. Cause me. Who's that? Okay, okay. I like Moussa Weinstein movies. Majority of the good films that come out of Miramax and stuff was Weinstein or the Weinstein Company. Was Weinstein. So I'm not going to take away that aspect of it. But if you're Fobs in, <laughs> if you're Fobs in, who's it's clear to see that this man was Fobs in. Nah, that's what you would have Fobs in. Wild activities. Of it. Yeah. Inter- you see the interview with him on Mike Tyson? But Tyson was like... Let's pull this up. Okay, so I was like, nigga, you put your hand over there. And I will say and face you. When I did he did he and Tyson? On um some interview, some some show they were on together. Jesus Christ. Did he and Tyson? Yeah, up here again. No, you don't appear nothing. Oh. How did this appear? When I they have a picture of two of them kissing each other with well, this is this. No, they put that together. Yeah, they can make it. Alright, let's go. Don't connect it. I know. Don't connect it, Sunday too. Right. I like the way you're working. No diddy. I got to dag it. Dag it up. Come on. Pull it together. Pull it together. Marine. Well, yeah. So we, we if you realize, it's not guest today because, you know, people are to worship the, um, the Esther, egg. The egg. Esther, the god of fertility. Ishta. Oh, whatever. Yeah, we go. <laughs> Okay, we're on players. Demon Wayne Show. Yeah. Keenan. Keenan. Yeah. Keenan. Yeah. Keenan. Yeah. Ah, look at Puff, boy. Can Puff. I young, I young, I see, man. Oh, does this man look on the hinge even then? <laughs> <laughs> I um, think it all I don't know when I'm coming back. I'm in, I have so many different ventures. Now I'm into the music business now. Yeah. 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 yeah Let me see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. When you, yeah, go down, go down, go down. Whoa. It's 
cool or not? Yeah. Yeah, somebody. And Forbes in yes. Were you there tonight? He fell her, her one he, night. What show was that? He had this man. That was at the garden. At man, the garden. You know why? Because when you're in your hometown, you're like, you try to give. Yes, with. Oh God, you two are sticking on me. You always. <laughs> <laughs> one losing us, but but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was in my home. I was in my hometown. I was really excited to finally be performing in New York, and so I'm rocking. And so we got back from New York in the house. You know what people should really be should really be concerned about like they, they, hold, they just hope they don't hold them for that Tupac murder shit, you know? Because that would be wild. Yeah. That would be wild. You know what I mean? You and ah. I. Like, you went up like you went up like Kenneth McGruff. In the game here, though. Because if you know who Kenneth McGruff is, I don't know who Kenneth McGruff is. Supreme. Okay, Supreme Kenneth McGruff. Right, 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 right. Yeah, if you get a hole like Kenneth McGruff, oh, left. Nah. Well, because that's still in jail, right? Oh yeah, mm. yeah, big time. Or oh, fucking um, you know, for some reason, everybody fifty cent this beef with those gangsters and up in prison. What's the correlation? Next thing, fifties are up though. Yeah. That's for like weeks. We we all know. Know. It truly is about the Benjamin. Yeah. We see. He's he literally. He's about the Benjamin. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk in and you want to hang out? Hold on. You want to welcome some Just <laughs> Hold on. Uh, yeah, back. But I tried to do the play it on how we oh, shit. Like, there ain't nobody. You just keep on rocking. But it was like, I, I just felt, I was embarrassed. I know. Like, I feel like, you know, you know, you know it truly is about the Benjamin. Yeah. Man, we see. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, hold on. You showing your ring or you moving where you move? You try to get a fuck, you try to fuck them all. Yeah, he but you know, but if it's he, one, he left no big man. If it's one man who can literally hold your hand yeah. and move it, <laughs> and, it might, and you can't be like, what are you, it's, all, it's, all, it's, all, it's all puffy hand went limp down, but he's like, it's oh. Like, yeah, wait, wait, what are you doing? Man? It's like, what are you doing? What are you doing with my hand, Michael? <laughs> Michael, my hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's one man shit. allowed to just pick up your hand and just rest on your hand, so. Yeah, that's that. And I like, you know, big man thing. If Tyson was on that, I would cry, you know. Like, he come here and it's like, yo, you giving up your fobs? So I was like, I would just start to cry because I'm now in the half I talk. I these, glad. These I, are the kind of monsters you start to face when you go to prison, dog. Yeah, that's why I try to stay on the street yeah, and the road. The prisoner's not for they me. No, hey, yeah, don't, they have to run things. No, 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 no. I know God, you know. God! <laughs> God! <laughs> it's not that. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so... Now, if I was a prison guard, I was sitting down and saying now, because I was, you remember, I was trying to have the conversation. I told you, I'm going to eat it too. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, the circumstances, our ministry, this generation now is justified how to be gain every asset. Like, now, nah, they have a price where they will sell this, so they bombs you for. Mm. I'm trying to figure out in our generation, because we used to be like everything gay, what would be the, um, the, to make it, to make no, it the justifiable, but what, what excuse you would have to have a man gun in your hand? Whoa. No, did he? Big man, um, I can't really think of anything. And I, I got fired because I'm, I'm not a doctor. I mean, because yeah. I say, even if I was a prison officer, I say, so I telling them, I don't want no man squatting and spreading in front of me. So I go say, or oh, squatting and coughing and thing. I say, so there is the scene. Wherever you go inside, make sure if you get in trouble, fit it's not me there, you know, because you want to put my job at risk. So I want to make sure they feel it now. I no mean, they, I mean, get her icon. You're leaving that cell with broken bones and missing teeth. Just chances, are, chances are you're talking to somebody who parents abused them the entire <laughs> life. They don't know is the, um, the yeah. consequences of the actions. So you're telling them, hey, it's a thing to pay for this. <laughs> no, it's not a No, when I say it's not a like now your body you're paying you know, with broken bones and thing, you know, if I get in trouble for you having any kind of thing on you, I'm not saying you know, I trust my prisoners. That's a Netflix experiment, actually. Yeah. That's a new series, The Prison Experiment. They... They like allow- as in like a real experiment in jail. Pull up this shit right now, nigga. Hey, I love this new, this yeah, new. Yeah, we just tested it all before we actually put it up on the um, cameras now, but who's this? Oh, is this girl so sad? That's the email address. Oh, oh, oh. That's the email address she use. I hate this. Which email to use? And it's, um, we could use, um, no, cancel that. Hey, my mind already watched Netflix. Uh, Jesus Christ. Netflix is um the devil. Okay, look, look how you gonna do this. Look how we gonna do this, nigga. No diddy. Anyway, um, it, it basically, the, I believe they send all the prisoners in one, and the warden say, "Here's the scene. I am going to take out all the guards, 
or they go and run this prison for what they sell. Or like the South, um, South American prisons, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it, but it's like, you know, there are cameras and everything. So it's are men who go and cause chaos, obviously, and the men who won't get beat up for causing chaos. No, but you know, there are men in like Norway and think who's go to jail and they just get to go home and come back and think. Like, I don't know. I guess I'm next, I could have cool. Just like in Japan, if you know, like for some reason, if you do any crime here and you maintain a jail, you come out and you do your time, you come out, we always be like, well, he's a whole fucking team, mm. but he's a pedophile, or whatever. Yeah. Wherever you go to jail for in Japan, when you come out, it's like, all you right. pay a debt. Yeah, you pay a debt. That's what you're supposed to do. Pay a debt to society. Okay, cool. I mean, not, we're not supposed to hold that over your head anymore. You, you wouldn't forgive a pedophile? If it's my chair and them yeah. Is me them and, Well, I mean, you know. You, you, I mean, they, they do their debt to society. If they do their debt to society, I mean, why you really want to hold over the person? Where's, where's that pedophile debt to society? Wherever the judge sentence, that's where the judge goes to judge school. and. That's what it's called, judge school? Or, um, <laughs> law school or whatever. I don't know. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but. It's just a situation where you gotta worry about people who just psychotic now. Right? So you let them back out into society and they're just not gonna stop doing it. Japanese rip all them kind of things. What are we looking for? I am looking how to sink this. It's not, it's not exact science, my guy. You know me, I'm trying to figure out if all they if have a faster way to connect. Look what to do. Not use remote because I'll log in with my actual shit. Um, well, let's scan it. Oh, okay. My phone. Oh, okay. Thanks for. Like, what are you? That's all I do. Because my phone is shit. You gotta watch the screen. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Whoa. <laughs> no, no, Diddy. Oh, I like the way you're working. No, Diddy. No, Diddy. Di. No, Diddy. Di. I got the dang. And then, of course, Mr. Troll himself, the king of trolling. How to find it? Why fifty years old? How to find yourself in the middle of these problems? Now nah, he had always he did he was. Remember Diddy asking to go shopping, which was crazy. <laughs> and it's like, why you want to like, you no, know, you want to take me shopping? Uh, that is wild, us. You want to take our man shopping, us. So Diddy was always a bull, man. You, how much men you know is where lip gloss? I hear how I think liquid mix melano in the mix. Dog, our man literally give him bunny ears and walk behind him. I walk behind him and um, hug him from behind on uh, one of these billionaire boat cruises. You don't remember that? And men was real clung him for this. I make him hop like a bunny, you know, kind of thing. These gangsters, these goons. These Philly niggas. <laughs> no, no, not Philly, because they're a New York nigga and Kanye. It's just like all the men who's gangsters and thing, all the men is feds. All the men is, as uh, so Kanye say, all the men is fucking feds. All the can't kill nobody no way. Kanye said that on Drink Champs. Yeah. So now it's looking like all the time we were seeing Kanye West is crazy. And it's seeming that everything's starting to line up. And it's like, ooh, they can make you look crazy. George Clooney is. Um, look how young George Clooney looking at. That, it was, that man is looking the same right through us. Don't, don't try that shit. That man ain't aged forever. Pretty woman. The only show that make men think prostitution and legalizing, well, wife and hoes is a flick. This man is a fucking maniac, by the way. Inside the world's prison experiment of oh, unlocked the jail experiment here we go play trailer the america are violent and understaffed is we man yeah, that's the 10 secondary schools yeah. to 23 hours a day that, that's why this ship is willing to risk it all in a new idea yes yeah, this thing and no officer we just sent it out so shall be immunity <laughs> the detainees will have six weeks to prove that they can act more people and not criminals it could end help that man has on pizza day bros and stay free but yeah in, in american jail homosexuality is like oh cool why does that don't make the black ones look crazy we still got a father that moves in here. We're going to get lit in this month. We're going to get drunk this year. That's why. We're not to let nobody mess this up. Oh, you guys are going to ruin it for all of us. <laughs> it's a big opportunity. If I meet that, I can make a neck with my kids and be the best father. Wow. Well, keep this freedom to go by the basic rules and good. Let's go. <laughs> the things they do in here might shut you down. Oh. Man missing teeth. That's crystal man. Prepared if it's not a hand. 
They don't want one person in here to meddle that up. I'm in the ride for y'all. I like it. I can't. I can't understand dog why that has be something so fascinating for people dog like to know what these men doing behind the bars Oz, no you, you don't know what i'm fascinating no really for white people bro it's like it's like reading books except you get to see it that's what tv is uh, okay okay so i'm get to just live through these, live these. vicariously true yeah that's wrong yeah no um but yeah so I have an area like we looking at this um whole week of episodes passing on crazy shit taking this, but the craziest thing I saw this week though, excuse me, Jesus Christ, yeah, the craziest thing I saw this week was I was standing in the front of my yard, you know, usually just taking my time, so I was wrapping up. I said, "Who is now, boy?" Like a garden hose. Yeah, I hear Skirks, big man, big man. Like any any news, like you don't read papers on the news or thing. I was like, "Whoa, who's this man, boy?" You talking to you? Uh, uh, <laughs> the way the scenario unfolded, okay, it would have to be that he was speaking to me. Excuse me. So I proceed to look up, confused, like we're talking about, uh, bewildered. Oh, um, he do have to pull out his ID, but if he pull out the ID, I could be in real problems and this and that. And if you don't want me to take, if I don't want them to take my um, hose and this and that, um, I'm wasting water. I was like, big man, you see me spraying any water? Anyway, <laughs> long story short, this man is a, a wasa, um, what is called super boy? Police. <laughs> Basically, that somehow felt the need to exercise his power. Yes, on you? Yeah, on me, randomly. So... I tell him be my guest. You can come and take the hose if you want, but um, just know if anything happen when you just decide to walk in my place without showing my identification, um, this person was also there, a, a client of mine, was also there to witness the whole debacle. And I'm like, but that was crazy. Like, he just show up, mash brakes real hard, run out the car, start to make a big gallery scene. I was like, yeah. Guess the, um, guess the race now. Indian? Nah. Oh. Na 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 yeah, accident answers though. The whole Arima? Yeah. Oh, it's like There's one, no place as if. one whole side of Arima was just cars parked. So it was a, I was in the right of way. What time of the day this was? Like 11 o'clock at night. Oh. Like remember last night was, uh, what, what oh, Saturday is for Easter? Glorious Saturday. Well, whatever. Yeah, Christ. Uh, uh, okay. We were getting on that just now because mm-hmm. Easter. Mm-hmm. Niggas are stupid. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, a little edification. Yeah, yeah. Some biblical ed- 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 edifying. Anyway. It is crazy. So all the cars face in the opposite direction, but I'm in the right of way. So I drive down behind an ambulance because, you know, everybody will get the ambulance boot. They mean you want to get the ambulance boot. Nah. Not a direct ambulance traffic. So they say, now nah, come. They lie on next man coming to me. space for two cars. So he could have let me pass, but nobody want to wait. So what I did was, you know what? I'm going to reverse back. Ooh, ooh. I said it. I said it. <laughs> Do it to yourself. Do the other thing now. <laughs> I'm going to reverse back. I said it. Let me reverse the up the street. Oh, no, but wait, wait, wait. Why was I was there? Let me reverse the street. No, you have to reverse up the... Reverse down the street or reverse up the street. Reverse down. Reverse. Is that how you're going up or down? Go in reverse. Up, you know, I reverse back. No, no it's not wireless. What are you supposed to say for that? Reverse back up. Reverse, reverse back the street. The street. Reverse back. Okay. Uh. I will back the, the, the street. I will back the old... I will back the old... I will reverse back. Wait. I hear reading, reading. Anyway, like you reading too much. Really. I went back up the street. Right. And then let every car pass, like 10 cars pass. So I was like, the last one, no. Sacrificial. I say, you know what? Thing, I'll drive. The man speed up so I don't pass. And then passes me. And then says, you're from fucking hell. I was like, Wow. As in the last man in the convoy. That didn't realize, like he didn't realize that 
the reason you're getting to drive is because of me. Hmm. Yeah, that tends to happen. I and in my mind, I, I was like, wow. But is he still? And let me ask you something, Basi. What's um, three days from Friday? Three days from Friday? Yeah, like As that. in Friday, then the three days, or three days before Friday? No, Friday, then the three days. Friday already passed, then three days. Monday. Huh? Monday. Right, so... How the fuck did Jesus die Friday? Who says so? Well, I really know up to speed. Oh, good, context, okay, yeah. Apparently, according to Catholics, yeah. Good Friday is when Jesus died. Oh, that is why this man was carrying across this morning, yeah. yesterday morning. Is that at all? He's just a stupid man. That, nah, is, that thinks actually. crucifixion is still a thing in Trinidad. <sighs> Maybe he thinks crucifixion is still a thing. Yeah, but he was carrying a cross. Like a literal cross. Like a literal cross. He's a literal cunt. <laughs> oh, gosh. He's a literal cunt. Why would you want to sell? Think about it. Crucifixion was like the regular execution of the time. So it's not special to Jesus. Jesus is not the only person ever to be crucified. Mm-hmm. Well, other than mm-hmm. the two thieves, they understand what I mean. Mm-hmm. Everybody was getting crucified or burnt or whatever. Right. There's just a way of killing people. And crucifixion is supposed to take a long while. The, the nail is not supposed to kill him. It's not the nail. It's supposed to be suffering. It's supposed to be the fact that you're up there, it's uncomfortable, and you're supposed Sun to dry out. Dry out. Ants, bees. Yeah. yeah, exposed to the elements and you're naked like you're born. So this beautiful picture of the sky opened up and he's there on the cross and he's just, uh, suffer for me. No. Lord that, forgive them. No, no. That, he was naked like he born in front of his mother and his best friend and to be uh, um, mocked and shamed. But at the point of time is, if you, the start of the week is Sunday, we can all agree to that. Mm-hmm. What's three days from Sunday? Right, hey, Monday. Oh, from Sunday. From Sunday, Wednesday. backwards, backwards. Oh, she is before Sunday. Yeah. Mm, Thursday. So how did f- we get Good Friday? How was Jesus? How is Friday the day that? Is he significant? Said three days. They said no, because Jesus said I will be I'll be in the ground for three days, three nights. So three days, three nights. Mm. Considering you went in the ground in the evening or a little bit before the evening, that was one night. It would have been even the next morning. Next night, next even, it's you can't get Sunday from that. Who recounted this story? What do you mean? Of the whole crucifixion and the resurrection and the true. I guess the four <coughs> the four disciples who are the gospels. Four gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Yeah, well, Luke wasn't there. Oh, so Luke is a man just talking here, say then. Luke was Luke wasn't there, in all fairness. Luke wasn't one of the two. It was Mark, let me say Mark, John, and Matthew. Luke was not there. Luke came in, they were only time with Paul. So the talk spread here, and uh, strangely enough, he had the best detail. Mark was very lazy with the writing, and Matthew was just trying to fulfill scriptures. John, however, was a man's best friend, so you get certain details on the inner workings now. How familiar is you are with um, Islam? Not at all. At all? <coughs> uh, a, a little bit. All right, so um, this is... I'm not, don't quote me on the name of the, the documentary, because I can't remember exactly what it was, but they were talking about like how... ISIS and um, <laughs> you won't get me flagged and Afghanistan no there's a serious thing how they recruited in Europe like they they recruited the what the whitest oh wait no you never saw that movie no it's called Four Lions it's a movie a comedy about that uh, they recruited the whitest of white men? most insulated white, white men not to, just men and women and yeah to join ISIS to join ISIS and, 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 bomb and, and come back to the country and, and suicide learn. bomb the shit out of it yeah um, that, they made a film about that called Four Lions Dog. it is the one that you the wildest man in that room he was a white man like full beard and he ready for um, jihad and shit so so here the, here the heights in the whole mix now these said teenagers who went away to ISIS or something right because they come back like 21 22 years old and changed right? changed war 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 broken men jihad is not in the um in the quran by the way they coming back to the country admitting yeah i went and joined isis oh well done by Jaffy boy yeah um, yeah, I went and joined ISIS. They tell an immigration that I went and so I was a, a policeman in the <coughs> Afghanistan, the, um, um, the Taliban army. I'm looking at my thing, dog. He lock up a man under so, Sharia law. So, let me, let me ask you something, right? You know, like when you do um, US visas, or I guess, um, what it is, what I be citizens, and there's click from Belgium, yeah? Yeah, no, I right. So, you had to pass through certain countries to get to Belgium mm-hmm. from Afghanistan, I'm well, assuming. Yeah. So, when I ask any people, right, um, 
Did you, did you um, do any kind of terrorist activities to get visas and shit? Yeah. Like them was clicking yes and Them men and them talking the truth, boy. Them men, them men, I respect them. Them men, the authorities know, yeah. I, I one day them. there will be a caliphate. And we. I forget what caliphate is. Like one Muslim run state. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. He say Belgium will be a caliphate and we'll run it as like big man. Wherever fucking hash they get to smoke across there. The hashish is strong. Is the strongest at the hashish dog? Yeah. Because them, it's a white woman. She literally went <laughs> like, all right. It's a whole deliberate ploy, right? We can talk about this during the like, start of the NRM Ramadan. This is, is oh, it, shit. like we can do oh, that. Oh, sensitive on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, you're doing the... that. As it's a Christian holiday, we. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Be famous, but let's continue. My bad, my bad. No, no, no. I, I sorry. I really didn't think about the whole religion. Nah. religion yeah, that's not what we talking about. We talking about yeah, that yeah, dead, yeah, yeah. We talking about that dead nigga on a cross here. And, and his mother watching him naked. <laughs> no, but, but I mean, it was just noteworthy to mention that these white people are being, like, they're no. just literally oh, going. Oh. Hey, let me explain this to you about white people. White people is take up our cause and be more thorough. The militant in the cause, though. Won't be more thorough in the cause than everybody else, you know. When killing <laughs> started happening for Christianity, is when white people join it. It's when the Templars and them run out. It's when they was yeah. like, nah, we need Jesuit with priests. Like, black people don't go into other countries and just be like, you know what, let me learn your entire culture and your language and stuff. Acclimatize myself to it and then... Like up, Japan. Like Japan. Like what they do, like what the Jesuits did to Japan. Yes. Set up, set up schools there and then look what we go and start to do. Push Christianity and then when we push the Christianity, here's the scene... Spanish emperor, he could send the ships now. We could conquer it. That's basically what happened. To quell the, the people and them civilized. Uh. No, well, yeah, we done. And meanwhile, men civilize eh? So we, we just haven't accustomed having sex doggy style, but for some reason it's still it's savage to you. Yeah, yeah. And that's the that's how Christianity was spread through doggy mm, through right. non-doggy style. All right. So so what you're trying to say now is that everything that we we the laws, everything is based on Christianity. Well, are we talking about for morality the in the US? For the Caribbean? Caribbean in the US. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible, I, would say, I wouldn't say Christianity, but the Bible was a, um, a basis. Is the basis, right? That's why it didn't have, like, we, we, we was against anal you know, sex, we was against same sex marriages, we was against um, what other things, well, of course, murder and things like that was understandable. Yeah, all the commandments and things. Threesomes, polygamy, all them kind of things was out the window. You know, one thing I didn't know mm -hmm. that threesomes was. Um, uh, it, it's sodomy. It's called sodomy. It's sodomy. Oh. It's the same thing as um. How oh, actually some sodomy? Because the things I used to go on in sodom. That's where you get the term sodomy. I, you know, I thought sodomy was fucking anal sex. Yeah. yeah. Shit. And you know, it's the strangest thing. Anal so why did one on called Gomorrah? Well, I don't know. Gomorrah. 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 Go, 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 yeah. That's Gomorrah. Gomorrah. Because sodomy just have a ring there, I guess. Pause. Sodomy. <laughs> Pause. That was a little bit um no animal fucking and stuff. That was stuff that was going a on. Bestiality and all, all of them things animal. was just outlawed because. But prior to that, if you go into other countries, no. Speaking of bestiality, uh oh, I went into um when I, I was about oh, this is like 11, 12 years old, and I went into my uncle private stash on um, Sunday punch now, boy. And there was an article in Sunday punch. I, I wish we had the camera so because I'm, I'm watching him. <laughs> like, I was like. I went to voice off. He uh, said, speaking of bestiality, you cut the conversation. And it's like, I went into my uncle. I was like, uh, where that's going? No, 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 Continue. Just, just let him play that now, boy. Just let him play that. So um, I was around 11 years old. Um, you know, any curious, curious little boy want to go to the uncle pornography stash. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you play that land. Cool. <laughs> cool. Right. Um, so he had, a, he had a stash dog. Like he had a chest. We had a chest with magazines. He had um, VCR, the, the big black tape on them. He had some CDs. He had different um, Playboy. He had Sunday Punch. Of course. Playboy is retro, like wow. Yeah, he had cards. <laughs> yeah, like playing cards. Too. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That cool. Man had a porn stash. Like the, like the porn stash in he the had, corner. He had a pic, yeah, he went Mono. away. He went, he, when he went um, to Brooklyn to study and thing. Yeah, <laughs> you have a picture with some porn stars on thing. Your mom was into it. So your parents were LP for him to go to school. Yeah. That's how you do it with yeah. your time. That is, okay. um, that is, that is, more, well, he did now, but you know, I mean, that's more uncle Tony. But anyway. So, rest in peace, big dog. Whoever he is. But yeah, so he had an article in the, in the Sunday Punch where a Coast Guard officer, wife, was caught having sex with their German Shepherd dog and the dog stick inside her. And I was like, this is rare. Well, I mean, we, we had to watch our pit bull meet. Hmm. And so yeah, but that's our next pit bull, though. 
it gets very engorged. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't know that. Here I am as a little youth man reading this article in a toilet. Because you know what? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, because I mean, she was out of peanut butter. No, but since then, that shit going on. Imagine. Even before. War is really happening. Think about why Japanese people like tentacle porn. I don't even want to go that far, though. Tentacle porn, but then the again... The pork, the pie boy. Well, you say the pork, the octopi, I don't care. One thing about it is, what we was watching, because we're westernized, we get Christianized or, Islam, or Islamized or whatever, mm. or Judaized. Mm. We was watching it like, all right, look how savage them is, but according to us, it's like, look at those freaking prudes. Yeah, them too uppity. Like, we're not, so we're not. They don't have sex with little boys. What's wrong with that? But that was normal for them. Completely mm. normal. Mm. No, but that man still fucked that goat, eh? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That goat, yeah. yeah that be, I still can't my thing that. about it is, is that baby goat too. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He, he couldn't consent. You know who you are, dog. And that vet, you see that vet you call? Man. And two they went on social media and make it look like the goat just happened. Prolapse. To, the goat just happened to have a prolapse for the weekend. Was, that was, you know, was, that was Rudolph, the bright bam sea goat. <laughs> about brown sugar and the goat but on situation. And prolapse. No, no respect. Us. Just pop the goat on social media. No, yeah, it's a bloody, bloody face, man. Nah. Because on top of that, you want to sell a goat for somebody to buy and eat. A one tainted day. goat. Yeah, get, yeah, 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 get the file, boy. You know in the Bible, if you defile an animal, it's supposed to kill the man and the animal, right? No, well, you see, he making it look like an accident, like the goat just accidentally had a prolapse. That don't happen. Then go to uh, a baby goat only All drinking right. All the vets on them who might happen to hear this fucking... Show today, just verify this shit, though. Who often does a baby oh, goat? Yeah. Bamsi get prolapsed. What's that? Where's the, the frequency of a prolapse in baby goat? But Pro, a prolapse in us in a baby goat. <laughs> that's, that's wrong. I think eh? that might be the arm. No, no, no. You, 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 I mean, who the fuck ever? Yeah. Who the fuck ever? It's one of them throwaway episodes. Yeah, we're just doing it because we have to. Hey, you know what the weird thing about it is? Like, I look at the, at the footage for last week with this morning, and I was like, my camera does not make yields look flatter, and I swear to God. Who, um, Big Joe? Uh, yeah. Big Joe, any marks? Yeah. Um, you know what? Fuck them. Nah, that, yeah, that, that camera there. Um, Lindsay, well, that's Lindsay. That's not a movie camera. Yeah, yeah, it is, but I'm really? telling you, it's not filter there, so you're seeing what they really is. Lindsay, Lindsay is like, yeah, make it look crazy out there. So if you're ugly and you come up and you show anything, it's the best thing, don't worry. You know what's you know flatter me with, with, with women coming on this podcast? All I understand. Beside that, I mean, Hands. Um, they like uh, how to put this without sounding like a complete misogynist, boy. Every last woman I come on this show have insecurities. We all have insecurities, right? Humans. But their anxiety is be reeking as they come into the, the studio now. Or oh, because they think they're just going to get jammed. No, but then again, we was going playing tennis with our poor girl. Like, as soon as I asked that question, you asked that question. So you asked that, I no, because she's saying some outrageous things. No, nah, she was talking crazy, bro. <laughs> she, she was talking crazy. Really. She was talking crazy. <sighs> that was last week. That was last week. And I went to Fifth Street with her after. Okay. And let me tell you something about these. Say no more, say no more. That was last week or the week before? That was last week. It feel like we had, we spoke about this on the podcast. Nah, that was last week. Nah, she, uh, other than that, it was... Uh, Interesting night. I get to see the proletariat in their natural. It was a nice study in anthropology. I mean, this is the future generation of our, our this, middle this, class. No, no, this is going to develop into the middle class. This is who grew up with single mothers, most likely, oh, and grew up in the HCC housing development. And now they got jobs in the government services. So something like a gold chain, something like no, a I saw a, I saw a gold chain clasped to another gold chain exactly like it. So instead of buying one big gold chain, I saw two gold chains, two gold chain. <laughs> two chains together. <laughs> two gold chains. Two gold chains together. <laughs> and it was given to a young lady. So she could wear, and she felt like somebody for that moment of time. I saw a bottle of Prosecco used, a, a girl's back used as a tabletop for a bottle of Prosecco while she twerked. It on maybe, the cocky. It's maybe not our cup of tea, dog. Or, um, yeah, so what's the dog? Hit and run, right? I know. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Right. We, I know, like, understood what it meant because I didn't what, know you were talking uh, about. Well, well, all right, I think. And she says, a single mother. Oh, fuck. Is she? Yeah. She wasn't with some, some man? No, she, yeah, well, she was with a guy. They, oh, they, have a child. they have a child. So my thing about it is exactly, did he hit and run you? you hit mm. and, did you benefit of it? Dog, like really, dog. I find between me and you can't hit and run a dude, or unless it's our next dude. Pause. You see, the thing about it is, right? We beat this 
this this talk to the dead, right? Um, with exactly how women is be putting themselves in problems, saying that kind of shit. Now, okay. oh. I every last single mother I know have cri- they, they cried to me. Every last one. I'm not trying to <laughs> song fuck up or anything. They have cried. They have cried. So back is real laugh for them was. So back. See us. So back is real laugh for the strong I, female. My mother was a single mother. I understand the plight of a single woman, but. I think all of us see enough examples of people be 45 hey. and what they put themselves in and still walk into it and be like, I'm a victim. You know what's crazy? You, a female rat, does not meet with a male rat unless the male rat has his own hole. Makes sense. So you're telling me you're right. that ghetto rats, city rats, city rats, no, f- ghetto rats, we talk about the purple punky, the, the project hard, housing bitches. The, hard, right the, pro, them. the project bitches. Wow. The horses. Yeah. And yeah. them. Con- Tenessa. Have and, two or three baby daddies. Oh, good, boy. And still don't know how to use a fucking condom at this point in time. All right. So, if I could try to provide any kind of explanation to the situation about this whole condom theory. Matter of fact, we should I get back with Doug, you know. He said it so eloquently. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Red man. Red O, boy. Red O. All right, so the condom situation is our scene, right? Because here we go. <laughs> I think both men and women mutually share the dislike for condoms, but there was a good enough campaign that kind of bring it in, in terms of... That's the campaign meaning AIDS? AIDS. <laughs> 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 that was the campaign. It's like, yeah, we might understand you the condoms, guys. Yeah, I think you should put on a little time. We got to take the penicillin for the sif, but that AIDS yeah. killing you. AIDS mm. is killing you. No, no, no. Look, 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 look. Barry Gordon, you know? Barry was just here the other day. Right, and Barry just dropped out from the race. So, yeah, that condom thing started to come in handy now, boy. And then, um, when you're growing up in the ghetto, you really don't have much anywhere of impulse control being taught to you. Then, I interacted with a gentleman. Yeah. Very recently. He has $40 to his name. He was getting paid within a week's time. He, he's an aspiring rapper. He has a remedial job. He's going to get paid in a week's time. He wanted to get dropped by our next friend's house to have sex with a, one of these um, project building bitches with two kids. Hmm. And then on top of that, still needed to borrow a condom from the guy he was going by because he didn't have money. And you know why he said that thing, though? Yeah. So I told him, yeah, $40 to your name. Shouldn't you try to ac- accumulate more money so you can get through the week? That should be the person. Well, tomorrow. Survival now. Yeah. Nah. Single cell organisms, yes. Not single cell or no single cell organisms replicate and that's their function. How they live? This is a hundred percent impulse, lack of impulse control. Yeah, yeah that is no, but is a is a thing. You know the guy, by the way, Hiroshima. Nag- Nagasaki. Nah, boy. Nagasaki. Wait. Well, who do get that do get right? But na- n- n- Nagasaki. Nega- oh, that's the name of the episode. Nagasaki. Nagasaki. Boy. All right, well. the biggest bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, no. No, but there, boy. So, that is the problem. When you're growing up, when you get to impulse control, is not a thing because nobody is allowed to really have impulse control. You remember, the ghettofication is not really about black people. Eh? It's really, it's about breaking the economic spirit of our people, now, boy. So, if you systematically ghettofy a place, there's no way possible for this, this, this group of people to collectively raise the economic status in any form now, boy. So the only way is out of it is crime, prostitution, which is a crime. crime. Um, sport. Menial or menial. Or food. ways for single anomalies to find themselves out and, of the ghetto. And that person has to be either very intelligent or very something out. Something they have to have that makes them way have. better than the average person. Like they might be the next SELS Clark, however. Yeah. You know, so like looking at the, 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 the purple punks on them and the, and the stubborn little black boys. The purple punks on the... If it's street massive now, but, you know, it's not a... I, I really can't knock them because massive. they've never been put in a situation to adapt and understand impulse control. Or impulse control. Uh, impulse control is very important. It's the most important thing, though. Like if you have no impulse control... You literally cannot discern what is for your own safety from what is for. Do animals have impulse control? 
Odi went hunting. Odi went in drive. So think about a cat. Mm. Oh, it is patient enough to stalk its prey. And be meticulous and di- disciplined enough to not make a bad step. And then I think about like apex predators. You see that Jurassic Wiggle shit or you put a T-Rex in, 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 or King Kong and shit, shit and they go start to attack shit. I I shit. They would just be like, hold on. What the fuck going on here? Yeah, yeah. This is not what I'm accustomed to. Let me, let me move now. So come back. Let me try and figure this thing out. Let me watch it. Let me watch you see. I see bears. I see malicious bears in like things. Siberian. Like, yeah, they just be, when they, they come, they see, now don't see a honeypot there. Let me try to sneak in my honeypot and, Oh crap, the cubs, crap. They don't attack. They yeah. don't attack nobody. Them not you see wild animals, apex predators, I think already. I don't think they designed to attack. Because if you look at humans from an animal lens, we are a dangerous yes. prospect, you know. Yes. Because yeah. we go in area and kill out everything. We've done that, that's what we used to do. Like, <laughs> like something as leisurely as eating wild meat dog. That is a murderous thing. Like they literally go in and kill animals that you don't have to kill. Ah, uh, you saying that? What were even murderers killing just for the sport? Killing for the sport. Just for the sport. Yeah, like a lion hunting a gazelle. He have to eat. Is to eat. Yeah. A, a shark hunting whatever is to eat. You have a whole mass of stores and still running down animals in the bush? No. Yeah. no. Well, well, I used to do that because at one point we had a hunt and stuff just like everybody by talking mm-hmm. about. Yeah, kill a big like a, a, a ivory coast elephant just to mount the head on your fucking wall. Or the tusk or something. Yeah, that's yeah. why. That no, is why. And that's unethical, but in in zoological societies and, and, and scholarly articles that you read with zoology, I think you'll find that the article the, is always split down the center, you know. It's always the people who in it for conservation's sake. And then, yeah, boy, the microphone needed some adjustment. Yeah, well, Oh, is this Mr. Mike? <laughs> another, another design to, um, to yeah, aim for okay. the mic. <laughs> you can, okay. Uh, yeah, so it's always down the center and it's not the people who really care about conservation and the people who care about uh, here with the scene and make a dust at the end of the day. And if I had to kill an elephant for it, it's whatever. No, I don't mind to kill an elephant to eat the elephant, you know. You don't need that. I mean, yes, propaganda is a thing. Yes, world hunger is a thing, but I don't think it's a, it, it, that serious for people to be killing. World hunger can't be that much of a thing. You, you see how much potatoes they dump in Idaho, from Idaho during COVID? They dump <laughs> tons of potatoes. Uh, you could not just take those potatoes and give it to UNICEF or some shit like that? For I guess it will work so. Infectious diseases and whatever. From, from potatoes? From region to region. Protocols, um, quarantine controls, that kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, that was them little, all them fat belly black boys with the fly line on the eye. Fuck them. With Maybe worms. Like, they, they worms in the belly, you know. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's worms. I yeah. thought it was just excessive gas. No, nah, they worms. Damn. They worms, they worms. And they your belly big? <laughs> Don't quit me from now. I'm not a doctor, but when a puppy belly big, like excessively large, for its limbs being skinny and the belly just overly large, that's worms. More than like the puppy or worms. Like. Um, that make more sense. I thought the child has had gas. So I just expand them like a balloon. Parasites. From back, from this like parasitic um, touching so they, shit and eating shit that they're not supposed to be eating. Like, yeah, but they die in a starvation. Yeah. So um, they don't wash their hands and they probably just dig in some tree stump for some lava and then eat that just so and they just shit and then wipe their hand and that kind of vibe now. So, you know. Yeah, shit and I wipe in your hand is a... Uh, is that is like this this we thinking that you know Africa Africa all them native people on them like we cannot we should not be interacting with them you know? we will kill them yeah with our germs yeah 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 our we civilized. have so much advanced germs that these people can <sighs> you know it are germs that immune to to, to bathroom soap and thing like immune these kind of things use research yeah wow it are germs that that adapted to survive the bacterial and disinfection it's called aids <laughs> it's called aids wait now when they kill it they're gonna really fuck that yeah adapting you know and is hap- this happening by hundreds or even thousands of bacteria by the day you know bacteria evolving certain bacteria dying off but it's so much more than you could think about jesus christ yeah so we just not quagmire filth filth and deluge my friend. Deluge is not um, like a spring of water. Let's look I it up. That's not deluge. D-E-L-U-G. I'm calling, I'm calling bullshit. Let's deluge. look it up. 
A colonial place, let's see if it's time I say now. Let's say it is. Deluge. Let's say it is a spring. Not spring, like it's a guy. Uh, uh, a fountain. Or some kind of thing like that. Mm. Make, make, correct me. That's fine. <laughs> Because you know, uh, I was going to say delusion, but I thought delusion was um, more of a fancy word now. Right? What thou wilt shall deluge. Oh, by the way, them thing going extinct. Eh? Koala bears? Yeah. I fucking need that cartoon anyway. Well, a koala bear, what does it do for the environment? Eat eucalyptus and shit. A heavy rain. All right, so. Cloud boys, soak up, pelt up. Yeah. I know something to do with water. Yeah. It's a dunk war. Rain and the parade. Well, well, well according, according to according to my um, this man who I was working for, you know, when our man was like rainfall and he was like, well, rain is only do one thing now. <laughs> it's a verb. It's rain, raining. Yeah, rain is only do one thing. <laughs> yes, he, he tell a tone or tall our tallest brethren. <laughs> and he get us like, good. You see, rain is only do one thing, you know. I say, okay. That come like when people say that little small man. That come like, like little and small nah, is that, the same thing. That come like reverse back. I did it myself. Pause. Nah, but yeah. I hear some great verbs this weekend going with some book, man, going by my, but hey, at that point in time, I couldn't working. translate, you know. If they got that work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, them fellas, is this shit, boy. Big up yourself, I seen you, whatever you sign up. One of the greatest books, man. Yeah, all you have to do is just learn to, like, read more. Yeah. Just read more on you. Just... But then again, you would still see reviews back, like a No, Alta, Alta has an um, a outreach program going on right now. That requires you to actually change. What, to read? I know how big man I carried. Big, like all of Well, you know the psychology behind that, right? I know. Behind why people from a certain demographic worry. Why? They attach fear bonds to it. So, we, we didn't talk about this? Um, no problem. No. So, like, just everything in life you've been conditioned to be okay with. You've been conditioned to tolerate AC temperatures. No serious thing. You've been toler- tolerant of this hot, hot sun for so long that you don't even get to figure out what went into you being tolerant of that. And same thing with, with books. How you get introduced to books is how it does remain. So a lot of people get introduced to books through licks, through, hey, you don't see big head black bitch. <laughs> Figure out what you're doing. You can't study, you can't learn this and that. You ain't learning your book, right? Everything is about is about punishment with this with this 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 book. So anytime you had to pick up a book now, it's licks. Yeah, yeah, that's in your mind. Shit by. Yeah. Beaten. <coughs> Flashback. Well, I'm a, I'm a you can't concentrate. Recently, strange enough that his mother used to beat him into reading the Bible. So now as an adult he hates the Bible, but you read it so much times as a child. So now as an adult, he's like, nah, I want nothing to do with that book. Yeah, but I've version it. Yeah. So the issue with, I will say it, I say the thing big, because I ain't afraid. Black people afraid books. They afraid books because they get licks to inter- interact with books and it was never a good feeling. Is it just black people or just poor people? Poor people. Mm. Poor people. Anybody who under a certain Because their parents was illiterate <laughs> and their parents was illiterate. So you picking up, you're stripping off, buzz. So it not work. My, your, your mother didn't learn Books through motivation, she learned through fear. And the only way she could teach you a book is through fear. Because you know, she didn't know how to teach anyway. Anyway. So it's a cycle. And if they can pray, if they can pray and give in and fucking pussy wasn't so no natural, imagine how fear would, Well, then again, that's probably why some people are apprehensive against getting fuck. I literally watch a man in city gates up and read a sign three times and do the wrong thing. Oh, I literally, oh, I want to top it. Hmm. I literally have a man flag me down. From leaving the area that I live in. Okay, okay. To okay, ask okay. me how to get back to the highway. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know they pop up signs. I just know the route now. Right. So as soon as I make the thing. You see the sign? The sign literally said, this is <laughs> how you get, this how you get the way you're asking. <laughs> and I was like, now nah, boy, hey, hey, he's sorry to put a hit at this man. Like, so. Just look up, buddy. He's so anxious. I like, he's so like, because he didn't know where he was going. And mm-hmm. I, just seen, I thought I was going to get scraped for a second. I was like, if you feel you fucking robbing me tonight. The first time I hear about the sex, yeah, I know it was like, in that whole scenario because people develop a certain I know I can't be exact on the science eh? not, sir. Not yeah not. I can't be like giving statistics on the shit on him but a lot of people have a, a real negative reaction to these these books classrooms sense like if your 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 primary school teacher used to wear a certain kind of perfume that could trigger you that actually making more sense with me now like that's why I'm afraid um, people with Down syndrome yeah. 
Like, I get triggered. At the time I get down in the room, mm-hmm. rush by somebody and he drew blood, man. So that smell. See, yeah. In my, in my mind. So, so you can kind of figure out now how anxiety does work. And it's really not the fact that they don't like to read. It's just that it makes them anxious. So read it. So, so if they could get past that, they could actually. They could actually read. So if we, if you, if like a guy taking him out, this goon fella down now, mm. and he just get past that, he could actually. Because Fifty Cent said in like that book, um, thing harder, what's harder, work harder, what's harder, work work smarter, what's harder. Okay. Like that. a Fifty Cent. Yeah, a Fifty mm. Cent book. So he basically um was saying that what you had to do is read more. And you remember he's a nigga from Queens, dog. Yeah. So he was growing up in the same system, however, he had to be in the streets, he was selling crack, doing all these things. But then a certain world was able to unlock for him when he started to read. Mm. Like, not just, not just, he just started to read, just read everything. Everything, though. And yeah. then you become a research reader, and then eventually he's like, you start to make certain connections in your brain. Neurons you start to process. Yeah. Not definitely. Neurons, um, is neurons in it? So that, that's saying you could, you can't teach our old dog new tricks as a myth. You just had to want to do it. Yeah. I don't want it. I, Malcolm X. Malcolm X is a perfect example. But you have a man named Cleef. Us was in my class in university, dog. And Cleef was about 50 something years. Was that really something like I would like? I was like, oh, Cleef was like. Cleef was a. Yeah, this brother Rufus, yeah. Nah, nah. Cleef was a man. Whoever knows about Cleef will attest to this. The most disciplined, old, ignorant black man I ever seen in my life, boy. Like, you know, the type of person who just work in an industrial setting the entire life and then one day wake up and he's like, you know what? I going back to school. <laughs> so, I don't get retired. Yeah. I always wanted to get a degree. I always wanted to have a degree. So he just, he was the most annoying student ever. You used to ask questions about everything. Everything. Miss? In front of the class. Miss? He taking up all the, all the learning time. It's, it's for Clefus, right? After class, you can't get to talk to a lecturer. He did. Did he finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cliff was a man. First class? I don't know what he first class. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he first class does. Oh, they'll fuck up, yes. <laughs> no, because that'll be why I thought I was already sorry. What's going on? I thought I was, I thought I was always going on. Yeah, I don't think he ever make it into any honor program, but um, it's, it's still need perseverance that, <laughs> that, many, that many most at the point in time because... Coming from some, I sure he never read growing up. It was a conundrum, a conundrum. <laughs> no, because you know, like Captain Green Verbs too. <laughs> it's, it's Mr. Green Verbs, you understand? So he never talking anything that could correlate. He, the questions I know was like, dog, you didn't just do this assignment yesterday. We asked him, like, somehow it used to work for him. Somehow. Well, he had to know because he saw a need, he saw the end. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to see it, that he had to see the end first at the I end mean, of the beginning. I don't know who went on higher yeah, at that age. Oh, well, he probably retired. He just was doing it. Uh, you know, he, he finished his life. You know, at that age, you might as well just become a doctor, get a doctorate one time. Just to do it. Just to do it. Just to see. I mean, yeah, I'd like to think at 80 some years. Where is it? What can do? You done a churn, they done big house, done pay for wife, good, cool. I'm yeah. gonna, um, I, I called my cousin yesterday in the States and she's super depressed off of student loans. Yeah, don't get, don't get a degree in Amity States. We're coming up to time, huh? Yeah, my dog, but So, yeah. So, I mean, this was one of them them, them bullshit episodes and then we just have to finish off because it's like, great, it's the PNM. I was told to say so. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, um, there's a kind of love hating thing that's going on with me and the, um, this, this political party that's in power right now. Um, Dude, whoever gave me an IHC, how sweet is he want to vote for? Whoever run the keys, I, I give another my, my, my angsty dog. Right? They could buy my food if you want. I don't understand how they just try to try to buy mine. But like uh, you see niggas get by with a t shirt and a road. I think it's your marginal consi- marginal constituency though. They know that they know they ain't going with you. Yeah, but yeah. But me. Maybe like big man, big yeah, head. Yeah, no, I know he's a big one in the community. In the community, we could do for it. Anyway. I want keys, right? Keys and maybe a little contract. Oh, that song, look. A, a contract that going to take forever to finish that you got payment for when you work past. Yeah, like where everybody's getting. Anyway. Yeah, buddy. So, so, final words? Oh, shit. Why did you yeah, talk it up? I was supposed to. Final words? Um, maybe maybe if you just sit down and read. Maybe at least like a chair and learn to read and then they learn and it's be about that. They'll do better. And also uh-huh. maybe if yeah, just confess that the person was molesting as a child. Hey. Is your uncle or something like that? You would probably have a better life. Anyway, your final words. Well, I was looking up, mom. 
I see one of the, the greatest. You're going to show that now? No, no, I was going to read it out for you, though, mm-hmm. as the final words. Yeah. So you go, so you go, so you go, so you go. So it goes, because my final words was really going to be some grimy, grimy gangster music, yeah, but. Do what thou shalt, do what thou wilt. What thou wilt. What thou do what thou wilt shall be the whole law. That is Thelema. You know what Thelema is? A philosopher? Nah, that's a type of philosophy. You know, them, them in the 1800s. I was reading about it today. You're running time now. Go away. No, boy. I'm really trying to find this thing. But if you, if you hear any lyrics, dog, you say, Bazi, we went on, boy. That's all I was saying. Yeah, it might be like, dog. Bazi, I was saying that on a more basis. I'm like somebody who put, disturbs my soul. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bazi. <laughs> Bazi. <laughs> you're on shit, dog. You're on shit, you're on shit. Is that, is, I was really going to read tickling you. Yeah? <laughs> I'll just paraphrase it. I didn't want to botch the wool boss um, yeah, intellectual right. property now. Like, paraphrase it. So, um, in the words of the great, of a great man, who's soon to be um, reopening a child, they can't hold you on the corner. They had to catch you in a house like Tony Montana. Now, like. So, take from that what you will. Right? Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your weekend. Be gone.